Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be making jicama spicy lobster street tacos. Sounds wild, but you're gonna dig it. Let's get going. All right, last week went to PF Chang's with some friends. New menu item was street tacos and they actually had jicama shells. I got the lobster and I was skeptic at first, but wow, they were killer. So good, in fact, that on the way home, I went out and bought some jicama and some actually some shrimp and I made them for my family and they really enjoyed them. So had to make a video. This isn't a clone recipe. It's an inspiration from P.F. Chang's, but it's gonna be my recipe. We're going to kick this off by making just a very simple light breading. I have here a quarter cup of coconut flour. You can buy this at like Sprouts or online quarter cup of sweet rice flour. And I chose both of these flours just because they are so light and they have a little bit of sweetness because we're adding a little bit of heat. I have here one teaspoon of white pepper. I'm gonna add a nice pinch of cayenne pepper. Little goes a long way. Just a little bit of sea salt. Get this mixed up really well. And there we are. I'll set this aside and we're going to make those jicama taco shells. Okay, for those of you who may not know, this is a jicama. Basically a very solid root vegetable. The meat is white and it's got a very crisp texture, almost flavorless, but really good, really good on a salad. And I discovered from eating these tacos, it makes the perfect vehicle to just carry this real flavorful food. It doesn't overtake it. First thing we're going to do is just peel this, this thick skin off of here. Okay, jicama is all peeled. Now we're going to be using the mandolin to get the nice thin slices for these tortilla shells. You really need a mandolin or something that will slice vegetables very, very thin. Luckily mandolin prices have really come down. So anyway, let's get going here. And here's what we're looking for. Just very nice, thin, flexible pieces of this jicama. And again, just trust me on this. It makes a killer, killer tortilla shell. I'm gonna finish slicing these up and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now it's time to bread that lobster tail meat. I have here some tail meat that I just cut into little nuggets and these will fit perfectly in these little tiny jicama shells we're going to make. I'm just gonna drop these in and I wanna make sure that they get breaded individually. So I'm just sort of toss them around. I did not coat these with any milk or any type of binders. They're sticky enough as it is. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. Just a very nice light coating. I'll pull this out of the breading here and then we'll get to frying this golden nugget of goodness. All right, I'm using canola oil, which is heated up to 350 degrees right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the basket and then put the meat in. We won't stick together here. And I am just going to cook this until they're kind of a golden brown. It's not going to take very long at all to cook these little pieces of meat. All right, now it looks good. Let this drain a few minutes and then we'll make some tacos. All right, we are going to assemble the tacos now. And in order to make it easier on myself, I'm actually using a taco holder. And ironically, it happens to be the same exact holder they use at PF Chang's. I got it at a restaurant supply store for under $4. So again, very flexible. Just stick that in there like that. The next thing will be that lobster meat. It smells really, really good right now. Again, small nuggets are key here. Next thing I'm going to add is some sweet chili sauce. I love this stuff. It's got sweet and heat. I mean, what more could you ask for? Okay, now we're going to add just a little bit of chopped cilantro. A little chopped green onion, some chopped red Thai chili, and there we have it, jicama spicy lobster street tacos. Can't wait to try it. First we're going to go ahead and just add a little bit of lime. Ah. Just look at that. It's a perfect little bite, perfect little bite. Mm. Well, I just absolutely love these things. 
there's just so much going on in such a small little bite, but it's the perfect bite. You get that nice, warm, crisp lobster. Then you get kind of smacked with that sweet, hot chili sauce. And then those Thai chilies go to work, but then it all kind of gets mellowed out with that cool, crisp jicama shell. It's just perfect, perfect bite. I love it. I love it. Anyway, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.